kids. Welcome back to Science Experiments with Miss Holly and Miss Faith. We had a lot of fun doing the last one that we did with you, so we decided to put together another one. And since Easter has just happened and it's come to that holiday, we decided to do something with Easter with the eggs to show you how like you have so much fun with your eggs. So today we've got something exciting for you to try at home, something that you all have at your house, and you're just going to really love it. Holly, what do you have? A rock. A rock? What is so important about a rock? Well, just because it looks ugly on the outside, some rocks, if you crack them open, they have something special inside. Really? They're what? called geoids. Geoids? That's cool. I think you might, she's got some pictures here to show you what are geoids. There's the rocks, the outside, but when you crack them open, Inside, there's a crystallized rock inside. That is so cool. Something like this old rock could be a geo. What are these other pictures you have? They're more colorful. Oh, those are beautiful. Those are beautiful rocks. What else do you have here? Today, we have some to show you how you can make your own geo. We're going to show you at the end what they look like, how awesome they are. But what you'll need to do, and we'll put the ingredients on there so you can try this at your house, is you need to you need an eggshell. Your parents may have to help you, and you kind of crack it open, and so you have like half the shell. And then you take a cupcake tin so you can put your egg that will sit in there. This experiment takes about five days. It takes about a week to do it. And you get your piece of um, a paper towel and kind of fold it, and then just get it wet and stick it down inside your cupcake tray here. Then you take your half of the egg, and so we've got two different eggs. This is just a regular white egg, and then Miss Holly, she's going to show you, these are actually from her farm, from her house. She raises chickens, and so you can see the two different colors. It's kind of like a greenish egg color. It's really cool. So you're going to put your eggs there in your tray, and then what you're going to start with is you need a fourth a cup of water. So I'm going to pour my fourth a cup here. In here, so we got our water, and I used warm to help it dissolve that better. And then what makes the geode is when you take salt and you mix it with water. Maybe your parents did this is actually just a big block of salt that's mixed with water, and it got really, really hard. That's what's inside those geode rocks, like that. So we're gonna add some. I got my water, and then I'm gonna add, or I've kind of measured it out. You need an eighth of a, a cup of uh, just regular salt. Now you can try different salts. You can try the salt that you put down on your sidewalks. You can try this. I brought some Epsom salt. You could try that. You could try table salt. And, and so you just add your salt to your water. And then you kind of stir that up. Get it all stirred up in there. Just like that. And then like those pictures she showed you of the geodes. Like some were blue and some had purple in them. We're going to make, we want ours to be colorful too. So what you can do, instead of just do water and salt, you can add one drop of the food color. Okay, then you're going to make sure you stir it all up so it makes it get that blue color like that. And then what the last all you have to do is you just pour it into the eggshell. So just kind of pour it inside there. Sorry, it's, it's hard to see it. Whoops, good thing we have a table here. <laughs> And then that's all you do. And then you just let it sit there. And what I kind of did to kind of speed up the process, if you don't want to wait that long, I got the, I dug out the rest of the salt that was down in here. And so I just added the salt to make it calcify. It, it's going to get hard, really. It'll get harder faster. Yep. And then what you do is you just let it sit there. And then over four or five days, you just keep watching and watching it. And we'll bring it closer so you can see the different eggs the geodes that we were able to make. And I just used salt on all these. And you can see it's all crystallized in there. Here we used green food coloring. This one was done two weeks ago. So you can actually see how much it's calcified. It's just water and salt that got hardened. And it kind of shows you the process of how a geode is created. Now is this all regular salt? Yeah, it's all the table salt. Yeah, just regular salt. Those are pretty cool. So this is a way that you can make your own geos at home. 
and watch the process how it works. You just need water, salt, and food coloring to make the geos. Now Holly's going to show you some other things you can come to the library and check out. We have this here. Which so, uh, I'm going to come closer so you can see what it is. It's just a box of all kinds of different rocks and it comes with this little thing and they're all numbered and it tells you what kind of rocks they are. And then we have another box that's a little bit different, but it also has a bunch of rocks. And there's actually one set of rocks in here that you actually can't breathe in the dust. You need a special mask to wear to take this, and you also need gloves to handle these because of the fine, the fine um, material. Yeah. And then here's another kit she's going to show you. You can check it out. This also has... Oops, a bunch of rocks in it, it's got different things in it, funnels, and then it's got this book, which Miss Faith did this one. It's got experiments in it, and it also um, crystallizes. Is this With also salt, salt, yeah, salt and water? And salt and water. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but how long did you leave this one up? So this was about a week, and you can kind of see how the salt is climbed is grown on the string there but there's different types of uh experiments in this in this box so really it cool all deals stuff. With rocks and minerals so we hope you will come into the library or if you have questions just call us and we'll let you know about different books resources that we have available that would deal with rocks and minerals hope you enjoyed our experiment about geos and join us next time yeah. thanks guys bye, bye.